Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shea, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So I want to give y'all this word of encouragement. Man, there is so much to be done. (laughs) Honestly, we have so much work to do in this world, uh, especially those who belong to the family of faith. There's so much work to be done. I want to read you this passage from Matthew chapter 9. It's it's Jesus right in the midst of his ministry, right? So this is Matthew chapter 9, starting in verse 35. Check this out. It says, And Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they are harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into this harvest. So it says, as Jesus was going throughout and he's he's talking about the coming kingdom, he's telling people uh, the kingdom of God is at hand. It's 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 right here in front of you. You could reach out and grab it. I am here. My kingdom is right now. Here I am. And he's telling people what this kingdom looks like. And it's it's great, right? Like people are being challenged. They it, it's bringing hope to the poor and and people are coming out in droves. And it says, as he looked at the crowds, it says he had compassion for them. So not, this is not like a. I think sometimes we hear the word compassion and we think like sympathy, like like tight, like like tiny violin, like like Jesus had compassion for them and he breaks out his tiny violin, right? That. If you look at the original word of that word compassion, it's it's a gut wrenching heartbreak. As he looked at the crowds, his heart was broken. The things that Jesus was seeing was that they 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 needed someone to help them. They needed someone to care for them. And it wasn't just it wasn't just like poor people, you know what I mean? It I think sometimes we mistake, like I said, I think we mistake compassion for like sympathy. Like I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. No, like Jesus, it's like this, this deep heart set, um, caring for other people. And I think in a certain way, we've gotten so used to like this, this Americanism, this, this rugged individualism where I only need to care for myself. We forget that Jesus had compassion on others like he his heart hurt when he saw them. And so in our context, it would be the single mother. It would be uh, the widow who just lost their husband or wife. It would be uh, the child that doesn't have stable parents. It would be maybe it's the person that's homeless on the side of the road. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the struggling college student. Maybe it's the person that wants to get their life together, but has gotten too far into a drug habit. And now, now nobody will hire them. Now they can't even get a job. It's the jobless. We have all, we we have the people that are, that haven't spoken to another human being face to face in the last two years. We have people struggling, man. We have the people that have been hurt by churches. We have the people that have been fired by their employers. We have people that their their friendships have left them. We have people that their parents won't speak to them anymore for a multitude of reasons. Man, we have so much going on in this world. We have so much happening, and we got work to do. There's people that need to know that the kingdom of God is at hand. And that's what Jesus is doing in this passage, man. He's he's going around and he's telling people and there's it, it says he's healing all these afflictions, that he's that he's healing all these diseases, and there there's this there's so many people hurting. There's so much going on. And we get caught up in um you know, this this political group or or um where that person goes to church or or uh this person's uh not from my neighborhood we get we get caught up in all this stuff man and Jesus is simply saying 
the kingdom of God is at hand. It's the kingdom of God is talking about like healing and restoration and reconciliation and love and mercy and grace. Those are the things that we should be putting forth, man. Not to say that you don't call out when wrong is wrong. But leading with compassion, having our hearts broken when we see that people don't know about this coming kingdom. It's right here. My encouragement for you, and it's more of a challenge today and maybe for the rest of the week, man. Who are you going to tell about this coming kingdom? Who are you going to tell, like, as they're going through their struggles, their spouse just left them or uh, their kids are just are just heathens? (laughs) Who are you going to tell about the coming kingdom? That it's already at hand, that's here now, and it's it's only going to get closer like it's right now it's in our hearts but there's going to come a day when it's it's going to be here physically and are you getting are you getting people ready for you are you ready for it who are you going to tell about it this week so it's a word of a challenge today as well as encouragement man because the encouraging part is jesus (laughs) jesus is not going to stay away from forever He promised he was coming back. And so get your hearts ready, man. Tell people about the coming kingdom as as they're hurting and they need hope and they need help. Tell them. Go out and tell them. That's the marching orders from our general. Be one of the laborers that Jesus was asking for God to provide. That's my word of encouragement for today. I hope y'all doing good. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. It's free to y'all. But it means a lot over here, man. But I love y'all. I hope y'all doing well. Until next time, grace and peace.